Today we're looking at countermeasures in the FA-18 Hornet. The ALE-47 is an airborne countermeasures dispenser system. It dispenses chaff and flares to decoy radar and infrared homing missiles. The ALE-47 is integrated with the Hornet's radar and missile warning receivers. Select the Electronic Warfare page on the right DDI. To select the Electronic Warfare page, press the menu button and OSB-12. To turn the ALE-47 on, place the dispenser mode select switch in the on position. The ALE-47 is ready for operation after 5 seconds. SF test and PBIT go are displayed on the DDI EW page. When the bit is complete, standby is displayed. When placed in the bypass position, the ALE-47 indication on the EW page has a dash through it and the EW page bit will indicate not ready. In this position, placing the countermeasure switch in the aft position dispenses one flare, while in the forward position, one chaff bundle is dispensed. The ALR-67 is a radar warning receiver. It detects, identifies and displays radars and radar guided weapon systems. To turn the ALR-67 system on, press the power push button. To limit the emitter display to the 6 highest priority emitters, press the display push button. An L is displayed on the azimuth indicator. Press the push button again to deselect the option. The ALQ-165 airborne self-protection jammer is an onboard electronic countermeasure system. It detects and counters threat pulse fire control and guidance radars. The ASPJ power and mode selector has five positions. Off, standby, bit, receive, and transmit. ASPJ modes are currently not implemented. Detected radars are displayed on the azimuth indicator. The signal source is identified with a coded symbol, which indicates the type of emitter detected, and its position on the azimuth indicator indicates relative bearing to the emitter. The azimuth indicator is divided into four areas. The critical band, the lethal band, the non-lethal band, and the status circle. Non-lethal Unknown and friendly emitters are displayed in the non-lethal band. ASPJ power and mode and ALR-67 power status are displayed. Remaining chaff bundles and flares are indicated. The selected release program type is displayed at OSB3. Five manual programs can be edited and stored. Pressing OSB14 will cycle through the EW mode options. The options are Standby, Manual, Semi-Automatic, and Automatic. In Standby mode the CMDS is powered, but cannot dispense countermeasures. In Semi-Automatic mode, the CMDS selects a program based on the primary threat, and requests consent. When the CMDS requests consent, the dispense light illuminates on the threat display panel, and a dispense queue is displayed on the hood. Other threat display panel indications include A hostile air intercept radar is in lock mode A hostile radar is in continuous wave mode and is probably guiding a missile A surface to air missile radar has locked on Radar directed anti-aircraft artillery has been detected To step through the manual programs, press OSB 15 To edit a manual program, press OSB4 to display the CMDS program sublevel page.
The program options are Chaff Flares Gen X Decoys 1 and 2 Release Repeat and Interval Release Repeat is the number of times the program will repeat and Interval is the number of seconds between each countermeasure release. To change the option, press the desired OSB and OSB 7 and 8 to decrement and increment the program value respectively. To save the program, press OSB 14. To step through the manual programs, press OSB 15. To return to the previous page, press OSB 4. When using manual programs, press the countermeasures switch aft to initiate the currently selected program and forward to initiate manual program 5. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe.